MachineTutorials.com. Hey, what's up? This is St. Joe, MachineTutorials.com, here with a video showing you what the 2.0 browser looks like when you're browsing from an MK1 or MK2 controller. So it's changed a little bit. Let's press Browse. You got your results over here on the right side as usual, but you'll see the left screen has changed just a little bit. So you'll notice these three columns right here that correspond with the first three knobs and what you use those for depends on where you're at. Like right now I'm in products, so I can use this first knob to actually browse through the individual products or leave it on all. And you'll see right here at the top is where your actual categories are. So I'm in projects, but you can use buttons one and two. I can go over to groups, sounds, instruments, effects and samples of course so and you notice when you go to samples you actually get the little pre here volume control right there so you can control the volume of your pre here or your sample audition right there and if you want to go into your user location just hit that and now you're browsing your user samples so let's get back over let's go to instruments instruments is usually a good one to show so we're in instruments now I'm in all but let's say I want to go to a specific instrument I can do that So let's do Absinthe, because what this does is now that I'm in Absinthe, you see it comes up with another column that says all. That means there's sub banks in there that I can browse through. So now if I want to go into the specific, you know, Absinthe 4, I can do that. Or I can go into Absinthe Twilights or whatever, and you still get your results over here. Now let's say I want to do all. We'll leave this at all, and then I'm going to use these buttons right here, your left and right arrow keys. You can go over and now you get your types. So I'm browsing all products and now I can go into base. I can go into whatever and you'll notice that anytime there's more filters you can use, you get like a little dash in these columns. So I'm in base and let's say I want to go into a specific style of base. I got an analog base and now I got additive and it narrows it down that way. Chords, whatever. And that's pretty much how it works. It's going to work the same in any category. So again, we can go back to all and let's say effects. It's going to be the same thing. So if you want to browse all effects, you can do so. Or you can go into the individual products, FM8. And let's say I want a specific bank, maybe legacy. Now I can go over and there's my effects right there. So pretty straightforward. Again, you just changed a little bit, especially on this left side. Make sure you're using your left and right arrow keys to go from the product to the, your different types and subtypes and modes and then remember your buttons one and two we're going to take you through your category it's going to be the same let's say we go over to our samples and we want to browse all samples let's say we want to go in ambience maybe I want analog effects whatever it is that you want you can go in there claps combos you know specific drum types you can do that or let's say if I want to go back and browse just drums. Now I can browse drums by type, symbol, and then now I got a little sub bank right there, acoustic, and now those are all my acoustic symbols. So of course, if you got any questions, let me know. Again, this is St. Joe, MachineTutorials.com, showing you what the 2.0 browser looks like on the MK1 or MK2 hardware controllers. See y'all later.